Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in this video we are going to uh, draw the projections of the question that is given uh, just in front of you on your screen. So basically we have uh, seven different points for which we need to draw the projections and we are going to draw them on a single line. So uh, point A, B, C, D, E, F and G are the points for which we are going to draw the projections and the projectors they should be 20 mm apart so this is the distance between projectors so basically we need uh, projections of seven points and uh, the distance between two projectors is 20 mm so we are going to uh, basically use xy line of length that is at least of 140 mm so for this we are going to draw a line so select a line now start this line from anywhere and sorry select line start it from any point now draw this line of length 140 at least 140 mm at least and press enter now enter so this is the line that we have created now uh, it's a little bit away so let's move this line now what we are going to do is we are going to basically uh, divide this line into seven different parts seven parts of 20 mm length so select this and use divide command divi -D -E, divide and press enter now the object that we need to divide is this press uh, select this object and specify the number of segments as seven now the line is divided but we are not able to see the exact uh, points by which it is divided the reason is point type is not of uh, uh, not suitable so we are going to change the point type by using p type command p type or sometimes it is also referred to as uh, referred as ddp type press enter specify the point type as this one and click ok so this is the line that is divided into seven different points seven different uh, segments now just go to the first question so point a is 30 mm above hp and 40 mm in front of vp above hp in front of vp that means the point is in first quadrant okay now if the point is in first quadrant its front view will be above xy line and top view will be below xy line and what will be the distance of front view from xy line this will be 30 mm and 40 mm will be below xy line so 30 above and 40 below from the first point select a line start from the first point and above it should be 30 mm and below it should be 40 mm now i'm not placing any point right now press enter so this is these are the projections for point a okay i have not placed any point yet now let's move to the point b so point b is 30 mm above hp and 40 mm behind vp so what it means is the point is in second quadrant above hp behind vp so quadrant is second so its front view it will be above xy line and top view will also be above xy line so distances will be 30 and 40 mm now let's select line start from this point now front view should be 30 mm above and top view should be 40 so basically we need to draw another line of 10 mm and then press enter so these are the projections for point b i have not placed any point yet i'm going to place them uh, now so use point command po press enter and then specify the points okay once you have specified one point you will have to select it again then specify another point after that select point again specify the point again later on we need to specify this point as well and specify this one as well now as per our uh, as per the question we need to specify which quadrant or which uh, projection is this so basically this is the front view of point a so i'm going to use m text command again m text enter and specify the corners like this and this point is front view so i'm going to specify it as a dash 
Now the text size is very large. So select this, right click, select similar. Now all the uh, things that were uh, created using mText are selected. Now right click, go to properties and reduce the text height. Go to text and reduce the text height and make it 2 or 3. Okay. Now just move this text so that it's near to our drawing. Okay. And just move this point as well. Now these point are also uh, of a little bit larger size. So I'm going to change, reduce their size as well. So instead of 5 points, just use the point of size 2. So this is our A dash. Now the next one, it should be A. So copy it and paste this here. Okay. So top view will not have a dash alongside it. Double click on it and you will be able to edit the point. So basically this is the projection of point A. Now for point B, I am just going to just uh, come to this question and take a look. Point B is 30 mm above HP and 40 mm behind VP. So above HP 30 mm that means front view is this one. Okay, and top view is this one. So for front view, I am going to copy it again. Now paste this text here and change from A to B. So this is the projection of point B. Now for top view, just copy this and paste it here. And instead of A dash, it should be, instead of A dash, it should be B. So basically this is the projection of point B. Now the point C, just come to the point C. Point C is 30 mm below HP, 40 mm behind VP. So basically the point is in third quadrant. So 30 mm below HP and 40 mm behind VP. So basically select a line, start from this point and draw a line of 30 mm here. Press enter. So what is this? This point, the point that you will be specifying here, this one is your uh, front view of point C. So this should be C dash. So just copy it and paste it here. And instead of A dash, just write it C dash. Press enter. Now for top view, what you are going to do? You are going to use again uh, line command. Start from this one and it should be 40 mm. Press enter and enter. Then specify the point PO. Click here. So this is your point C. So just copy it, copy any text, paste it here and write it as C. So this is the top view. Okay. Now point C is done. The next point that we are going to draw is point D. So for point D, it is 30 mm below HP and 40 mm in front of VP. So basically the point is in fourth quadrant. So for fourth quadrant, both of the projections will be drawn below XY line. So select a line, start from this point and draw a line 30 mm below HP. So first 30 and then uh, 40 mm in front of VP. So basically this will also be below. So we are going to use 10 again here. Now use PO point command, specify this as the front view and this one as the top view. So what you are going to do is you are going to copy these two control C and paste them somewhere here and then edit them. Now this one it should be point D. So just take a look D is 30 mm below HP. So basically this 30 mm is the front view so D dash. Okay and this one will be small d because this will be top view. So four points are done. The next point is point E. So this point is in the HP and 40 mm behind VP. So basically the point is in HP and 40 mm behind VP. So basically the point is in uh, point is between second and third quadrant. Okay. So in HP that means its uh, front view will be uh, on XY line itself. And its top view, this will not be on XY line and this is 40 mm behind VP. So what is going to happen basically, 
this point the first point i'm going to uh, copy this text from here and paste it here now this one will be your e point front view of e point so this one will be e dash okay now for uh, your uh, top view basically this point is 40 mm behind vp so 40 mm behind vp and in hp so you are going to rotate hp by clockwise 90 degree clockwise so basically you will select a line and draw it like this 40 and enter then specify this point this will be your top view so copy it and paste it here and instead of e dash as this is top view what you are going to do you are going to make it E and click here. Next point is F which is in VP and 40 mm below HP. So in VP and below HP. So what it means is basically the point is in between third and fourth quadrant. So its front view it will be 40 mm below HP and top view will be in XY line. Okay. So select a line start from this point and draw a line of 40 mm press enter and enter point just mark the point here now this point is point d so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both of these points control c control v and place these points now this first view this is uh, your top view okay in x y line is top view and this one is so basically this point is instead of e this point is f so change it to f and then this should be f dash so f dash so these are the projections now just move this point a little bit after that we are left with point g so this is in both uh, hp and vp so basically both of these views will be on this point itself Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this again and paste it two times. Paste it here and paste it here. Now one point, basically this is uh, G and G dash. Both of these points, they will be in the same location. So write it like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide them dimensions. Okay, so instead of uh, for providing dimension, just provide dimensions like this start from this point and go till the end point which is at 40 units now then repeat the same command now start dimension from here go till this point place it like this So this is how you can create this particular drawing. So whatever dimension is pending, we are going to shift that. Don't worry. Whatever dimension is not placed correctly, we are going to shift that as well. Done. So this is how you can draw the image. Now, in order to uh, basically modify or in order to adjust these things properly, I'm going to change the color of these dimensions so that they are properly visible. So, right click and select similar. So, all the dimensions are selected and change, change the color of these dimensions so that you can easily distinguish between dimensions and the projections. And then right click, select similar, increase the text height a little bit. Uh, instead of 2, use 3 now the drawing will look a little bit better place this question somewhere here so this is how okay this one is also remaining instead of by layer change its color like this so this is how you can draw these projections you can also increase the point size by changing p type command press enter increase the point height from 2 to 3 press enter and this is how your points will look like so that's all for this question. I hope you guys have understood everything. So uh, thank you everyone and have a nice day.